I mean, nobody wants to admit the nine cans of ravioli, but I did. And I'm ashamed of myself. But the first can doesn't count. And then you get to the second, and then the third, and the fourth, and fifth. I think I burned with the blowtorch, and then I just kept eating. Hi, Kurtzlings. Today, we are talking about this mad mama, specifically hobo dinners. Once again, the mad family had canned pasta for supper, cold and straight from the can. Yepers. A name which is not remotely problematic, because in my opinion, cutesifying the lifestyle of the unhomed is a pretty tone-deaf thing to do. The thing is, this isn't the first time that Veronica has made a TikTok like this. A few weeks back, she made another, where the family were eating ravioli. Obviously, these TikToks have stirred up some outrage. Also, what the hell was up with this comment? That's, uh, <laughs> what the heck? Because canned pasta is as basic easy as it gets. In theory, all you need to do is dump it into a bowl and microwave it. Or should I say, microwave. But I still need a bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the microwave. But Veronica insists that her family likes to eat it cold. Not just cold, but straight from the can because it's quote, fun. And to fend off some of the criticism, Veronica usually has an excuse at the ready as to why they're having cold pasta from a can for dinner. In the most recent example, Veronica comments that it's because she had a migraine, which listen, I totally get. I also suffer from chronic migraines to the point where I get ice pick headaches that cause my vision to black out and sometimes I even faint. It's really fun, but it still doesn't stop me from using the microwave. So uh, I, I don't know. In the ravioli video, Veronica's reason that time was because it took a while to install their brand new stove. And by the time they were done, it was late and she just, she didn't feel like making dinner. And again, I understand. Except in this TikTok, the stove arrived during daylight on the 22nd of June. It came! It finally came! <laughs> the big one. She posted the ravioli video on the 25th of June. Now it's entirely possible both videos were filmed on the same day and were just posted on different days, but I'm not sure. In fact, I'm not really sure how long it could have taken to wheel the stove into the house, plug it in and then push it into the slot in her counters. Surely not three days as she had posted dinner for her family on the 23rd of June, the day after the stove arrived. And that dinner was Taco Bell. <laughs> For tonight's dinner, my family of 15 had Taco Bell. I didn't bother asking people what they wanted. I just got an assortment and it cost me $63. Also, I'm sorry, what do you mean you didn't ask the others what they wanted? What the heck? That's rude. Rude. I started emptying out the bag and I realized that I couldn't really tell what most everything was. So I just sort of opened things up and handed them out to whoever was interested. 
How is this so difficult? It's takeout food. Just mouth agape, mind blown. What is going on? <laughs> it's supposed to be easy when you get food, not difficult. We noticed there was a change in the way that they made them and they're not crunchy anymore. They are basically just weirdly shaped soft tacos. So we were calling them flop wrap supremes. I don't know, Taco Bell, we need the crunch back. Which begs the larger question. Is Veronica intentionally making content with her children eating out of a can to stir up outrage? Is this on purpose for views? So I decided to look at the views on the videos where she gives the kids canned pasta for dinner. And the answer is yes and no. Now, the ravioli video from a few weeks ago, it, it, it didn't do very well compared to some of her other videos, netting around 26,000 views. Comparatively, the Taco Bell video from two days before it netted 214,000 views. On top of that, her actual cooking vlogs average around 40,000 views, ranging from 30 to 60,000. As for the most recent canned pasta video, well, it seems to have gone viral, netting 1.4 million views. So feeding her kids pasta for dinner at least this time, has turned out to be very lucrative for Veronica. So is it performative? I personally think so. I think Veronica is figuring out or is intentionally relying on outrage and certain perceptions of her family's financial status and stability to earn revenue from her TikTok platform. It's also probably no coincidence that she has started to post more and more to YouTube as well, likely to double up on her income like her bestie Alicia Doherty. As for eating pasta from a can, I suppose it's a matter of opinion. Personally, I think it's better for your children, especially the young ones, to have all of their meals from proper dishes, you know, routines and stuff, ideally warmed up. And a lot of comments agreed with me, which was pretty frustrating, I gotta say, because Veronica's responses to these comments were kind of rude, insisting that A, her kids like it that way, which, okay, that's fine, and B, if they wanted it warmed up, they know how to use the microwave. And while that may be true for the older kids, I'm, I'm pretty sure her one-year-old, one-ish-year-old can't operate the microwave yet. Nor do I think canned pasta with, you know, the amount of sodium that tends to be in it is a suitable meal for a child under the age of two anyway, but that's, that's just my opinion. I also found this kind of comment from Veronica very dismissive, which is kind of a common trend with Veronica, let's be real. She tends to be quite condescending. But what I find frustrating about it is how she's basically passing the buck to her kids, essentially saying, whoa, don't blame me. They have hands. They can heat it up if they want to. And I mean, sure, many of her kids probably can. But Veronica, you're the adult here. You're the primary caregiver. It's literally your job to take responsibility. You, you're the responsible adult. Not deflect blame. And Veronica tends to do that, deflect blame. It's not me. They're smart. They can figure it out. Okay. It still doesn't change the fact that it is not a tall order to open a bunch of cans, dump them into serving bowls, maybe heat half of it for the kids who like it warm, and then put it onto the table with a stack of bowls, a pile of utensils, and some serving spoons. I mean, if we want to really get down to the nitty gritty of this when it comes to, well, she had a migraine, or, oh, well, the stove wasn't hooked up, why couldn't the older children help you? I mean, Veronica, you have two adult children in your home, a 23-year-old plus her fiance and an 18-year-old. How come on days where you're not feeling well, your older children don't help you with this? Maybe they do, but why aren't you filming that? Help us. <laughs> help dispel the perception that you're creating here, because otherwise it just, it seems very suspect. Is it really that tall of an order to ask one of your older children to help you? I don't think it is. So these videos tend to be very perplexing to me. And the only conclusion I can come to is that they're performative. They're on purpose. They're to farm outrage and views. And look, I respect a hustle, but uh, not at the expense of your kids. Veronica, she's, she's intentionally filming her children eating cold pasta out of cans and then posting it onto the internet for money. 
<laughs> without seemingly any regard for how it comes across, how it's being perceived, how it looks, and without seemingly any concern for how it's framing her children and their childhood. Because I promise you, if they were enrolled in the public school system, this kind of shit would for sure be getting them bullied. I mean, for all we know, it may be getting them bullied anyways online, I don't know. Either way, that to me, at the very least, is not worth it. It's not worth, it's just not worth it. Whether they like it or not, just don't film it. <laughs> I am a fed as best mom, and Veronica's kids may like eating cold pasta from a can, and that's perfectly fine, I guess. It's not for me, but you know, food is food. My issue comes from the fact that it seems like Veronica is selling a negative image of her family that has the potential to be harmful to her children. And in that, I find it to be super problematic. And I hope that as Veronica moves forward with her platform, she'll start to critically think about how her content is being perceived because it is being perceived in ways that I don't know if she fully comprehends. And if she does comprehend and if she is aware of how people view her, like she claims, why aren't you trying to change that perception? It's a legitimate question. And I hope at some point, Veronica, you will start to answer it. Anyway, that's it for me. I want to thank everyone for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I heart you all, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!